Okay, today we have hammer curls. Okay, so hammer curls are great. It's just modifying that elbow position as you lift up is going to accentuate the brachioradialis muscle, which is a muscle in your forearm. You are st still going to get some work in the biceps and brachialis as well, but again, by putting your fist in that position and lifting, uh, you're getting mostly forearm work, brachioradialis. You're going to feel it for sure with this one. She's also coming straight up in this range of motion, then coming across the body. Doesn't necessarily change up the mechanics of the muscles that are being used, but I do like it just because you're working through a different plane of motion. So you're not, life doesn't always happen in what we call the sagittal plane, which is uh, forward and backward. It does happen in three dimensions. So think about that anytime you're doing any uh, exercise, particularly a one joint exercise like hammer curls. Um, modify it by, by uh, changing your position, your hand position, uh, the motion, and really try to make it more functional that way by changing up. So if you're doing hammer curls, by all means, pull it across your body, pull it straight up in front, and you can even pull it out to the side a little bit if you want to as well. So that's just a, a more complete way to perform this exercise. Get out and do hammer curls. Oh, 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 oh,